right, so I love it. We're getting ready to have breakfast here at the hotel. These folks over here walked up to me. I've got my Thanks Taj hat on. He gave me the secret word. Thanks for watching the channel, man. I appreciate that very much. Now tell everybody what the secret word was. Actually bleeped it out. You still gotta watch a video from two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It is great to see you. And boy, do we have a lot to share with you today. And yes, if you've got the secret word that I just bleeped out, well, we, we gave it to you the last two weeks on the show. Put it in the comments down below. We'll do a random draw, give away a few more of these exclusive and very fun. Everybody was talking about these last weekend. Thanks, Taj Hats. And you're going to see the nice gesture I did for the folks at the Bash event last weekend because uh, I knew I was going to run out, but almost immediately when I got out of the car, yeah, that's coming up on today's show. In addition, what little there are changes for the 2025 Corvette and I think that my predictions are right on track again as we get into conversations about the 2026 Corvette. That and a whole lot more my perspective having fun at the NCM Bash event 2024 on today's Coffee with Conti. Thanks for joining us. Welcome again, everybody, to our Coffee with Conti show. First, so many thank yous to so many of you that came up and acknowledged my marketing efforts, my sales efforts, and just my passion for Corvette that we share together. It was great to meet so many of you. A big thanks goes to Corey and the staff at Paragon Performance. We got to hang out in their booth area, and that area kind of was the content creator corner. Uh, all of the YouTube content, most of what you saw on YouTube in this past week, came from Corey's area. Uh, my Myself, Paragon was filming, Mike from Brika Speed was there, Clarence from Seagarner Speed 252 was there, Eddie X, Drive 615, Horsepower Obsessed, and a whole lot more. We had so much fun there. Corey, nice job of bringing everybody together, man. So let's talk about the changes. Excuse me while I grab a sip here. Uh, changes for 2025 Corvette. Now, this event usually is when we're already getting into the next model year and you can no longer even order the current model year. That's not the case right now. We just talked about it in a recent order update and there's more news to come because we don't know when 24 ends and 25 starts. One of the scenarios that I told you would happen is happening right now. And when Taj made this comment about ZR1, one of the other things I said was going to happen, well, I'll tell you that in just a second. Listen to what he says here. About the ZR1, but we did admit to, that we're doing one. How many people saw the teaser? We sent a, a teaser out, so most of you uh, will play the teaser again. And I just want to remind you, it's not a tease that the car is coming this summer. We're revealing the reveal. You know, that's what we do. We try to make the most of this. Um, <laughs> So we're saying that we're going to reveal it. So we'll disclose uh, information about the car, its capabilities, and so forth this summer. So it'll be a while. So don't cancel your E-Ray order or your C06 order. Uh, you'll want to drive those cars while you're waiting for this one. See, it's a reveal of the future reveal. Didn't Ricky tell you first ever on YouTube that the launch was gonna be in the January timeline? Didn't I tell you this probably would be an early 26? So yes, I feel now after that statement and kind of where we're at right now, transitioning into 2025, not knowing when that starts or stops, I think that the ZR1 in fact is going to be a 2026. And we've talked about that already. In fact, other publications have been picking up on what we're talking about and they're now calling it a 2026. In addition, I said that this would probably coincide and I feel confident this is going to happen. The interior change is coming and that will come with the new ZR1 and I think they both come again in 2026. Okay, so let's back up and let's talk about what's new for 2025. Not a whole lot going on. They really didn't give us everything that's going on for 2025. Why, I don't know. You'll see some segments in today's highlights. One of the things they said right away, and I've talked about this with a lot of clients, one of the disparities and the differences between 1, 2, and 3LT. In the 3LT, you got all this nice additional trim, including the steering wheel. The center part where the Corvette emblem is was leather with a nice stitching. Well, now in 2025, 1LT and 2LT standard will get that leather steering wheel cover. 
when they start condensing parts like that. Are we looking close to the end of C8? I don't, I don't think we're ready for that. I mean, what would you do new to make a C9? I love the C8. Keep it going, man. I, I think we are for at least another three, four years and possibly even more. So more on that in future uploads. We got some new colors this year. And for as much as they told us what is changing for 2025, there's a lot that they didn't tell us. They didn't tell us what colors are going to be eliminated from the 2024 palette. Now we know the Accelerate Yellow is gonna be replaced with the new Competition Yellow. This is a color that we had back in the C4. Sebring Orange is replacing Amplify Orange. There's a new Hysteria, kind of a bluish, more purplish, if you will, and that goes back and we talk about that in a future segment on today's upload. It looks to me like the 98 Radar Blue Pace Car color. So what color is that replacing? And there's a rumors I just talked about in our recent order update that there's a chance they're gonna cut a few more colors to reduce the color palette. Again, are we fast approaching, faster than you want? The end of C8? Stay tuned to this channel. We're certainly gonna keep you up to date. Other new changes for 2025. Uh, again, they kind of just fluffed over it, but we saw it outside on the E-Ray. There's a new yellow caliper that matches the competition yellow exterior paint. And for the 3LT, 3LZs, we're getting a new interior. Uh, the name I'm not going to try to pronounce. Uh, there it is up on the screen, but I'm hearing that that goes well with Sebring Orange and possibly some other colors. Uh, this is just a uh, kind of a cartoon rendition, so I wish we could see at least a real piece of that interior, but it is kind of reminds me of the old, uh, going back to C6, the Sienna interior, doesn't it not? Okay, we'll pay attention to that as we get more information as we actually get into 25 production. Also new for 2025, we know it's not been officially announced, but I told you guys, we got a blue caliper coming on ZR1, but that again is probably gonna be on 26. But for 25, we are getting blue stitching finally again. Where's the orange stitching, I say? Come on, guys, let's, it's already the most customizable car you can build for Corvette, but let's just take it a step further, you know what I mean? Let's finish it off. There's a new wheel for 25 for Z06, and personally, I'm, I'm not really, I, I'm not a fan. It comes in like three or four finishes. Uh, you guys can make a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I also want to hear your feedback on this. A new standard Z51 wing that looks like a mini high wing. I mean, it looks like the high wing chopped off at the knees. Uh, the Z51 spoiler of old, where it was open on the ends and it kind of dipped down in the center and it was good for short guys like me so you could access your cargo. That is not even an option anymore. This new... I, what do you call it, low high wing, whatever. This is the new spoiler for Z51 and it will be available in carpet flash or in every exterior color that they make for the 2025 Corvette. I'm kind of curious to get your feedback. I know a lot of people like the high wing, but it was too high for them. So this will work for a lot of those clients. Uh, for some folks, because it's just straight across and it doesn't have any of that personality and no real contour, maybe you're used to the existing Z51. So I think, I think the aftermarket guys are about to clean up on the old spoiler, you know what I mean? Welcome again, everybody, to Coffee with Conti. Man, I just, I love sitting here talking and sharing content and ideas and passion and information with you guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and listen. We got quite an upload for you today all over the place. We're all over the National Corvette Museum, including the NCM Motorsports Park. It's the 2024 bash on today's Coffee with Conti. Hope you enjoy the upload. Yeah, arrived. Yes, we're here, you're here. Good morning, and welcome to our Coffee with Conti show, and welcome to the National Corvette Museum bash event for 2024. Love. Keep running into each other. Love what you did. But 
by the time this airs, this was almost a Ricky move, what you and I talked about on the phone, and everybody, you texted me the picture, everybody goes, hey, is that the ZR1, man? That, look at that freaking wing, man. I loved it. I didn't I do anything. It. I just put a car <laughs> under a cover. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's great. <laughs> Deniability, well, I, that's I, good. I told you what I wanted to do, right? I know. Yep, yep. I was going to leave the car under the cover all day Thursday. Right. Friday, we we're going to show those red exhaust tips that are custom. Right. To start it. That's it. <laughs> so they would see a carbon diffuser and red right. tips. And, ooh, look oh, at the ZR1 exhaust. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Sorry to screw with you guys like that, but I enjoyed it. I really did. And then did. Saturday, yeah. finally pull the cover. Yep. That's what I wanted. Well, here's the thing. And I knew from the business side that they're not going to, everybody saw it's going to be revealed in the summertime. Yep. And I thought, if it shows up here, it would be just like it was in the C8. Camo. Just all, camo. just all, yeah, just camo. camo. And it was like, okay, well, what are you looking at? So, I mean, I thought maybe they would do that, but at the same token, you and I were just talking on the phone too, and some of the other people I talked to on the way down to Bowling Green today, they said, well, look at that car. It's just sitting there in the middle of the parking lot. There's nobody around it. If that's the ZR1, it would be under armed guard. You know, <laughs> we know how Chevrolet is, so. We got a camera. Well, yeah, well, that, okay, that, yeah. Security guard walked up when I was filming it, and I said, hey, you kicking us out? He says, yeah, we'll see you guys yeah. up. That made the intro for the video right yeah. now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. See, everybody's having fun with what's next with Corvette. Yeah, I love it. Thanks for joining us, Same man. thing, having a good time. Yeah, that's but, what it's about, man. Go show the wing off. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, go there. Let's go see the wing. Hitch to see I want. Look at this big old wing. Jeez, oh, Pete. This is huge, man. This is huge. Look at this wing. I mean, <laughs> look at how big this wing. How, I mean, Corey, what is that thing? 10, 11 inches? Wow. Dude, that's huge. All right, let's get out. Yeah, baby. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening, guys? Hey, look at that. Oh, man. Uh, are you kidding me, man? I heard something. What's that? I heard, did somebody say something? Oh, no kidding. Oh, God bless you. What time did you get in last night? Late, man. I got late, man. Here you go, my man. Thank you so much. Yeah, all right. Joe, I'm going to be out right now, man. Today, we only got limited supply, man. So if I run out, I'm going to take care of you guys, man. Thank you. Wonderful to meet you too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thanks for coming up. I appreciate yeah, absolutely. that. Absolutely, I wasn't gonna miss it. Well, it's nice to see that somebody has a Corvette and you get it. That yes. you got to come to these events. I mean, obviously a lot because of you, but yeah. no, seriously, it's great. You're doing a great yeah. job with your thanks content. You. Everybody loves you. All right, I gotta go work now. Okay. All right, we got some great stories for you guys from the bash. One I'm not too proud of, but we're gonna share it anyways. Okay, what's your name, sir? All right, my name is Omid. Okay, and you're from? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Okay, him and his kids stopped at Cracker Barrel in Elizabethtown. Listen to this. So every time we stop there and have breakfast, my kids point out the Conti curve to me. <laughs> they named the curb after me where I drove over it in my Corvette with the trailer. Very real, very raw, very embarrassed, but thank you. Absolutely. All right, now I'm actually gonna get like a marker next time I go there. I think I'm gonna put on their Conti curve. You should. <laughs> you should. Hey guys, guess where we are? We're in Elizabethtown, Kentucky at the Cracker Barrel. In case you missed it on the channel, I had a small mishap here last fall when I was coming back from the NCM Motorsports Park. I told that story reluctantly, but I wanted to be very real, very raw. Uh, when I make mistakes, I wanted to share that with you too. So, being that it's still rubbed in my face and it's my fault because I told you guys, but that's fine. I'm willing to, to take my, my knocks. But it was an honor that the kids named this curb after me, so I thought it was appropriate. On the way back from the bash, I got myself a paint pen, so we are actually gonna put my name on the curb. <laughs> this is not permanent. This will wash off if we actually can put this on there. So the kids are calling this <laughs> the Conti Curb. Ah.
Just splattered paint all over the place. Oh my goodness. Oh crap, all over my hand. There it is, scribbled like a third grader. The Conti, <laughs> the Conti Curb here at Cracker Barrel in Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I mean, look at this thing, you guys. I came right at an angle right here. So once again, thanks for the um, acknowledgement. Yeah. The embarrassment. Oh yeah, my own fault. I love meeting you guys here at the bash event. People have been coming up to me and saying something to me. What, what, are, what do you want to say to me? Oh, I know what that is. Bam, Thank baby. You, there you go. Thank All you right. Very thanks much. for watching That's the great. channel. Yeah. Right, guys. <laughs> What's that secret word again? You said. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! Bye, Rick! Love ya! Super excited about it. We're, it was going to be this kind of totally new concept with the hydroform rails and everything. And like we're going to change the face of the car. I mean, we're going to do a lot of things differently and upgrade the car to a modern standard. And still, Zora's attitude was if we could do better. Right. Um, and so that made an impression. But it wasn't until much later that I understood what he was thinking about this. Right. I'm getting ready to hit it for the first day. We're going to go up in the room and have a couple of closing comments for you guys. We're going to take a small break, roll some pictures from today's event, and come back in this upload and share more from the 2024 Bash event. I'm standing here looking at my car as it kind of got sandwiched in between a, a Dodge and a, and a Malibu, but who cares? Looking at this car and these lights, is this thing just not freaking gorgeous? Man, these, these lights just really make your car come alive, man. Beautiful. That right there, guys, is a good looking car. Uh, it's not really helping psychologically, it's helping, but no, I'm toast right now, I'm about ready to crash, but I do wanna share a couple of quick comments with you guys. And by what we're sharing today on our Coffee with Conti show, I hope for those of you that couldn't make it to this event, I encourage you, entice you, motivate you to come to Bowling Green, Kentucky, not only for the National Corvette Museum, when the plant tours get back on regular schedule, you've gotta do that and have a greater appreciation for your CA Corvette, but don't forget across the street from the museum is the NCM Motorsports Park. What a wonderful experience. I talked to a few people today. They said, well, hey, Rick, I went, I went and drove a car on the track and they're just glowing. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. I know exactly how you feel. And I can't wait to get back on track and share a lot of that with you guys. In fact, I'm going to have a special announcement with the NCM Motorsports Park. Um, I kind of want to blurt it out right now, but hang on, we'll do that in another upload because it's a great honor and it's going to be a great time. Okay, we're not going to stop here first. I'm actually going to go to the NCM Motorsports Park. A lot of my friends were there yesterday driving the E-Ray Z06 experiences, and they were having a blast. Uh, I'm not, I had an opportunity to drive. I just was you know, busy covering the event and talking with so many people. But I want to pop over there real quick and see what's going on just to give you guys a reminder of another element of Corvette ownership is, in fact, tracking your car. I love it when you first come into the track, you're already starting to feel the track experience. Look at the first turn here. <laughs> it's got a painted apex. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> love the sounds of the track. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to day two of the NCM Bash event, and it's still our coffee with Conti. But as I said, we're gonna make a quick stop here at the NCM Motorsports Park in the building it's having some other work done, but the main building is done and it's open and it's functioning for business. Actually, today they have a track, a real track event going on. I think that's why everybody was over here yesterday driving the Corvettes. There's a little Supra or Miata or something like that just past that Porsche. Okay, here comes the Z06. 
He's caught up in traffic. He got a late point by and he took it. Of course he would. <laughs> it's not a problem for a Z06. You guys never driven a Z06? They have opportunities to do that here. Just a few laps, get a feel for it. On the track, controlled environment. You'll be surprised and impressed. Maybe a little scared at how fast that Z06 is. You gotta come here and check it out, man. All right, we gotta, we gotta get across the street back to the passion event. Okay, when I first got to the bash, I was so excited. You know that. I felt like a little kid at Christmas talking about the new brake pads on my car. I walked up to Corey, I said, hey man, number one, thank you for the brake pads. I put them on the car, I, wow, look at my wheels. Heavy traffic, uh, traffic jams, on and off the brakes constantly for five, I got about 600 miles on them now. Look at this real quick. I haven't touched them. Look at, and I said to you, I said, dude, it's amazing. And you just smiled. And he nodded, and he goes, I know. Yep, that's why I gave him to you. He goes, I, I hear it all the time. Every time we put those on a customer's car, they call the next day, they're like, hey, these really work. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> the do. The Z51 pads are disgustingly dirty. They're performance based bad. Right. The Carbotex are not like that. No. We actually have a mutual customer, Joe, oh, who's okay. parked next to you. Yes, he, I think Joe's gonna order them too. He bought the power stops. Yes. And he comes up to me, he's like, hey man, I messed up. He's like, oh, what do you mean? He's like, I think I bought the wrong pads. He's like, I bought the power stop, says low dust. I was like, yeah, he's like, well, yeah, man, they're affordable. They're a hundred bucks. I'm like, yep. <laughs> they're not as good as Conti's. I said, good work ain't cheap, cheap work ain't good. So <laughs> he sounded like, sound like Chuck now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So he's ordering the Cobra text. Again, yeah. testimonial, that's Yeah, it. that's great. Just want to thank you for that opportunity. Yeah, no. Have it on my car. I've got half of my car is Paragon stuff, but it's stuff that I would have gotten anyways. And I want to share that with you guys. Brake related items, Conti brake at checkout at paragonperf.com. Get a 5% discount. Get the 1521s for street pads. Remember, like you said, if you missed that video, upper right hand corner is that video. A great description of all these different brake pads and rotors. Uh, also a link down below in the description. But the 1521s you can't use on track. So I have the other ones that we're yep. going to use for some tracking events and whatever that may be. But for just driving around already in just the first two days having them. Big <laughs> I, difference. I freaking love them, man. <laughs> Uh-oh, Keith knew the secret word. <laughs> and I still bleeped it out. You gotta know it from the video from two weeks ago. Make a comment down below if you want a chance to win. <laughs> Isn't this where we met? Good to see you. At this event? Uh, you know, uh, I'll tell the story. Rick was the first guy to stand in the back and film the seminars. And I think it was like 2006, 2007, oh, maybe was when that you first ago? started doing it. Yeah. And of course, there was no YouTube or anything to put this stuff on. But once you started putting that stuff on, I'm like, wow, that looks really like a fun thing to do, you know? Yeah. And so it used to be me and Rick standing in the back at yes. the Chevrolet Theater. Yeah. All dark and everything. Now there's a whole line of cameras back there. We got to fight for a position that now. Was like you had <laughs> to like, get there yeah. early, right? There's going to be some colors dropping down. What colors do you think we're losing? I think we might lose. Don't want to, but I think we might lose uh, ceramic. We might lose hypersonic. Could lose, should lose cacti, uh, but stay tuned. I think they're gonna lower the palette and the number of selections you can get in your colors. So as that unfolds, I'll share that with you guys right here on the channel. One of the reasons I come down here is not only to see everybody, to see the new stuff, but share that information with you because this is usually that, that bubble where you're dancing on the model years and we're changing over, but right now we're not. So my question is why? Uh, we won't know that for at least a couple of weeks. All right, nice job of that. I heard that. Timber, <laughs> Timber, I heard your car, and I've heard it on the channel and when you share stuff on Instagram. Yes. But I got to tell you, you know how many guys out there would love to have your car, pink or not? That car sounds smoking hot, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. Thank yeah, you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Good seeing you. It's so nice meeting you. Thank you. <laughs> what are you doing? Get lost. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to end today's Coffee with Conti with a much-needed coffee. I am I'm so exhausted, but it is, it's a good exhausted because I met so many of you this past weekend at the NCM Bash event. Thank you so much for that, seriously. 
I met a lot of you guys that watched the channel, gave us great compliments. Thank you for that. That really encourages me. I learned from you, gave me great compliments on my car. That's kind of cool too. I'd love to hear that. Thank you so much. I'm enjoying the car and I share all of that with you guys right here on the channel. Got a chance to meet some YouTube content creators and that was great to talk to those guys and just share our perspectives on the marketplace and our love and passion for this car. And you'll see some of those guys on my channel and I'll be on their channels, Sea Gunner Speed 252, Brink of Speed, and even Rob Paragon got just a fun, uh, nonchalant, very spontaneous reaction from the event about the car. Check that out on Paragon's YouTube channel as well. And so many of you that watch my channel, it was a little bit of a test and a marketing ploy, fun thing to acknowledge and thank Taj to see if you guys were really watching my channel. And you guys watch and you listen to every freaking thing. And I think that's great. I really appreciate that. So many of you came up and gave me the secret word that I've been bleeping out all day in today's upload. If you know the secret, do you know the word? It was in a uh, two weeks ago video. Link in the upper right hand corner. Go watch that if you would. Or there's one down below in the description. You got the word. Put it in the comments from a random draw. We're going to give away you guys watching online today a thanks Taj hat. There's limited supply. I'll let you know if you win. So we'll go through all that from the correct answers and do the drawing and announce the winners in a future upload for sure. But just so many of you. Uh, I thank you for just the feedback. I learned from that. And that's kind of the gist of these gatherings. It's about the people. We start learning about their cars. We're here, and I gotta thank all the people from Team Corvette that came down with Chevrolet. Uh, that was just wonderful to have your presence here, all the cars here, answering questions for people. That makes the Bash event very cool too. But we also learned, like, oh, what'd you do to your car? What'd you do to your car? And we had lots of conversations about everybody else's car. So uh, that's the fun I have coming to the Bash event sure. Uh, I got to thank Taj. I missed an opportunity to get a picture of him by my car. He said he would come by on the second day in the morning. I slept in, went to the track. I missed it. But I did I gotta be, I gotta be thankful that I did have an interview with Taj and I got some really cool pictures, some of which you saw in today's upload. But I'm not going to share the full interview with Taj in this upload. I don't want him to get lost in the shuffle. Uh, I, I, I got a whole laundry list of questions, and I would love to sit down, and maybe we can in the future. I don't know if it's possible, but I would love to sit down at least for an hour and just have a conversation with him because he's really impacted my career and so many of our lifestyles around this car. And he's just a cool guy. He's such a relatable guy. He's got such a high level of intellect, but when he's talking about all that engineering gobbledygook, we know exactly what he's talking about because he knows how to relate to us. So that interview with Taj will be coming in a future upload. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss that. Now, I did talk to Josh Holder. If you missed that interview, link in the upper right-hand corner, one down below. He was on Tech Tuesday. And finally... And I don't know why it took this long because Chevy's so weird in how they type stuff and don't just give me a freaking direct answer about the C8 transmission, the changes in 2024, and why don't I have to put the two additional liters of transmission fluid in there for my Stingray? But Josh Holder set the record straight. Now we understand why we don't need the two additional liters of transmission fluid in our Stingray Corvettes for 2024. Please watch that video. Josh, once again, I can't thank you enough. That really meant a lot to me that you did that and it helps me and it helps me help the Corvette community as well. It's always great to talk to you, sir. Uh, all right, guys, I got to get on the road uh, again. Remember, if you got that secret word, put it in the comments down below and let's let us know what you think of the new colors. Do you like the new colors for 2025? I told you I, I kind of hinted to something a few weeks ago. Now it's confirmed. There's the hide the weenie program again going on with 2025 started production date. Why is it delayed? When is it going to be? Once we know, we'll share that with you guys on the channel and then we'll have a more detailed conversation. And I think now I've been, I said, it could be this, it could be this, it could be this. I give you all these scenarios on ZR1 and the possible interior change. Now more than ever, I feel confident that again, this is just intuition. I feel that it will be the ZR1 will be a 26 along with the interior change will be a 26. So we'll wait and see what happens. Until then, let's sell some cars. Don't forget, I sell this car. If you're looking to buy a car, I finally got some Stingrays in stock and I got some great specs coming that I ordered for you guys. Contact me at the email address up on the screen. You want some of the new colors? You like that new that new Hysteria? That purple bluish color? You like that? You like the new competition yellow? Or you want to go back to Sebring Orange or you just want to get something else? We're going to lose a couple colors. I'm not sure. So once we know, we'll let you know. But if you want to get on the 25 Stingray list, contact me. Email address is up on the screen. It would be an honor to do business business with you guys and I'll help any way I can. Thanks again for watching today's Coffee with Conti. We had a lot of fun today, man. Thank you again.